I wanted to do like a thrifting hall of fame video for 2022 and I thought it'd be good to go ahead and do this in February since I did my Christmas haul in January and I'm trying to do like a monthly thing just to see if I can keep up with at least that kind of schedule. I wanted to do a thrift hall of fame for 2022 and this was really interesting to go back and look on because the years run together for me like all the different times I'm thrifting I forget when I found certain things so um yeah it was cool to look back and see which stuff I found last year and like oh so this is what the year is like so I'm gonna start with things that I got my for myself the second part of this video is gonna be stuff I got to sell that I thought were really cool um so yeah cool so I made a list um just to kind of keep track of it but I thought I would also um like I have my clothing rack here and I kind of emptied it and just put stuff on that I'm going to use for this first two sections of the video but um, I also have pictures that either I took when I got this stuff or I took so I could use for this video so I'm not sure if I'm going to hold them up and use pictures or it'll be something like that um but yeah these are in chronological order but I did put them in some kind of order on this rack like the stuff I have that I'm keeping and the stuff that's on thin ice so that way it you know segues into the next section very easily so um, I'll start this one, I guess. This is this, it's by Cable and Gage, it's like a knit dress shirt, I guess. Um, it doesn't really feel like a sweater, but it is knit in some way. But it's just this heavy, um, black short sleeve shirt with a white collar, and it's in a size large. And I saw this at the, our lo my local thrift store, it's the one closest to me, it's like, 15 20 minutes away and this was here forever this was here for so long for like it felt like months and I thought about getting it and like making it like a tiny crop top like a fitted crop top like something like in, in the sims like the early 2000s sims you know very like reminds me of Mogoth but I don't know if it counts as that but it reminds me of some of the outfits from like Mogoth in the 90s and I kind of wanted to get it to like upcycle and sell but also I really liked it but I finally got it around the time that my sensory issues were getting really bad and like this is like a kind of like a dress shirt for me I wear it for a lot of like when we're going out to eat or like we went to Columbus for my birthday and I wore this because it fits over the bras I find most comfortable because that's where my sensory issues have been messing with me and stuff like that so it's like oh good this is so it's a dress shirt that fits really comfortable so I really like it it's nice and heavy and it like I can wear a sports bra underneath it and it doesn't mess with it so that helps me a lot um but yeah it just ended up being one of my favorite things so I'm glad I kept it instead of selling it so um the next thing I don't I think I got this at that same trip but um the hangers backwards compared to the other ones but this is a fallout boy shirt that I got at that same goodwill and I don't find a lot of band tees well I find like a good amount of band tees but I don't find fallout boy tees very often which stinks because they're like my favorite um but this is a uh, infinity on high shirt has this really cool design of franklin the sheep and then you know it has the text you know the, the name and then it's um from air apostle so some kind of like you know how sometimes like shops like air apostle and 21 will get the licensing to make band tees and um i don't know how old this is like i don't know if it was from a long time ago or if it was just like they eventually just really you know what i mean like i don't know if it's super old or not but i think it's pretty cool and I like it. I don't wear it a whole lot because it's like this navy blue and I usually wear black shirts. So, but yeah, I really like it. It's too cool to get rid of. So I'm excited about that. That was a fun find. Um, thinking, I have a couple sweaters next. So I've been like on the lookout for like a nice Argyle sweater. I had like a couple that I went through. There was this Croft and Barra one. I saw at Goodwill. It wasn't in my size. I tracked it down on Mercari in my size. I had it for like a couple months but I hated how it fit. It was too loose and I wanted to have more like a v-neck and then I bought this Argyle sweater. I think it was in one of my vlogs. Um, it was like black and I got it at like an antique store but the texture just wasn't good and again I just didn't like how like loose it was. I really wanted something like buttoned up um, but eventually I found like the sweater that I've been like the kind of sweater I've been looking for. I forget where I found this though um, but it's by this brand called Marona. And I got it probably at another Goodwill looking for inventory. I originally got it for inventory, but kind of like one of the biggest rules some people have for themselves is don't try on your inventory. So I try not to do that anymore because I get attached to things. But this one, I think where it also looked like what I'd been looking for. And I knew I had some sweaters that similar I'd been meaning to get rid of anyway. It was like, okay, I'm going to try this on because if I end up liking this, then it'll be worth more worthy to me, like more, it would make more sense for me to like just keep this one and get rid of those so that's what I did. So I have this. I haven't gotten to wear it much because of said sensory issues that have gotten worse in the last year or so. Um, I hate that I've been able to wear it because this was like so cute with that trip NYC skirt. I have, it's in one of my 
I think it's in like my alt thrift finds, like alternative. Um, but yeah, like that would be such a cute outfit if I could just find a way to wear this. So I don't really get rid of it, so it stays. Next sweater is actually like a hand-me-down, I guess. Um, one of my family, one of our family friends, she's older, she knew I like sold clothes and stuff. And then so she said, hey, I have a bunch of clothes, I don't want any more, like, and they're nice, like, do you want me to, like, do you want to look through them? And so she just, my mom, like, my parents, like, got them, brought them here last time, one of the times they visited her. And then, um, I was able to use some of it for inventory. And then the rest of it, I just, like, donated or found things to do with. But I ended up keeping this. It's just a black Faded Glory card again. It's in, what size is it? Extra, I think it's extra, extra large. But, so, like, it kind of fits oversized on me. Um, and I really like it because I can, like, pair this with, like, like, shorts and tights or, like, just a skirt, like, something cool and, like, kind of, like, gothic-esque, I guess. Um, I've been kind of obsessed with, like, trad goth fashion recently. I've been trying to, like, dip my toes into the culture, the subculture, like, all of it, but definitely really into the fashion and, like, the makeup, so, um, this is kind of, like, when I'm doing more, like, just, you know, plain outfits, and like I can wear this and like I said shorts and fishnets or like a skirt or like literally I can just wear this around the house when it's cold so I literally I don't even normally hang it up I like keep it on a chair and stuff but yeah I just I really like it because it's just nice and slouchy and comfortable and I'm really obsessed with this so this was a great find um that I didn't really know I needed until I found it so the next one you guys are kind of familiar with it is this denim dress with patches on. Obviously, it didn't come with the patches. Um, if you see my video, I had I like made most of these myself, all of these myself, and then if it's like a t-shirt patch, obviously I didn't make that. But um, I got this at a little like charity shop close to where my grandma lives, and I don't get to go there a lot because their hours are weird, and we're always there on days they're closed, and like just we just never have time to go. But um, I had been I can talk about in my video about my battle dress is what I call it um but I wanted to make one out of a denim dress because I think it would be kind of ridiculous <laughs> but like I would obviously love it you know but like I think it would be kind of like exaggerated like oh it's a vest but it's long and this wasn't f but and then I was just waiting to find the right dress at the thrift store that would like speak to me because looking them up online to find them although it'd be a good investment it was more expensive than I wanted so it was like okay eventually I might save up the money but if I find one for cheap while I'm thrifting then that's great so I found this one. It's not even what I wanted it to be, like the, the, the like style of dress, because I wanted, you know, just like it's literally one of those denim dresses that's sleeveless and looks like a vest, but it's long, but it spoke to me and it was there. And I actually really like it. I love the long sleeves. I love how it's just like a long skirt. It has these like pleats. It has pockets and stuff like that. So I've been kind of on the lookout for like, you know, just a sleeveless denim vest, denim dress that's like shorter. So I have one for the summer. So I'm gonna look out to start my next one, but I'm not done with this. I just, you know, I can't finish projects before I start new ones. That's just how it is. But yeah, so this is that. I have pictures of it when I first got it. Um, since I'm probably gonna also share pictures of these things. But yeah, I'll show those. But yeah, I'm just, it's really cool. I'm really proud of it. I can't wait to add more to it. I'm just like lazy, but I'm proud of it. Then the next thing is kind of a grail item for me, but not because I was like constantly hoping I'd find it at the thrift store. It was more like, this was one of the earliest things I remember seeing on Depop and being like, ooh, that's cute, I should get that. And then I once in a while I'd be like, oh, I have to get this and save up for it. And I'd save a bunch of listings and then I wouldn't buy it. Because I also don't understand how vintage sizing works. I know it's like, depends on brand and often old stuff often runs small. But anyway, so there's this lime green dress that I saw on Depop several years ago when I first got the app in like 2019. And it's just always kind of like stuck with me. And then I was at a thrift store um, that was actually a while away from me. I don't go to this very often, so it's like a little bit away from me. And I was just, you know, hadn't looked at the dresses yet. I was actually in the glassware. And like it's like right across from each other in this particular Goodwill. And I like just saw the sticking out, like the side of it sticking out from all the dresses. And it was this dress. I recognized it immediately and I just darted over there to grab it because it's like that, that. Have you heard the audio from like thrifting reels where it's like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, like, oh, put it in the car. I don't remember what it's here for. Put it in the car. Like, we're getting it. Like, that's how I felt because it's like, how can I not get this? And it's like not my size. It like, I, it fits well enough that I think if I can ever like take the time to try and learn how to alter stuff, I could add like a corset back and it would fit better. But it was just like, 
even if I never get it to like fit me, it's such a pretty dress and I've wanted it forever and I can display it because I display clothes on my wall sometimes. Like I'll hang up shirts I don't get to wear all the time and stuff. But yeah, it's just like lime green, it's strapless, it has this ruching. It's vintage Jessica McClintic, I think. Jessica McClintic for goon sacks. And then it's like has a little zipper on the back and it's like has this lace and this little crinoline underneath so it like goes out really cool. It's just, it's so cool. Like, I'm so excited I found this. And it was like, I think the dresses that the one I went to were $6.99 or like $7.99. So it was really cheap. Um, and it's like, ah, I'm excited. I still can't believe I have this. I hate that I don't get to do anything with it, but I am so glad that I have this. So that's cool. So the next dress I have, I have quite a few dresses actually. I, I love dresses. I don't wear them that much, but I, I love them. So this, I originally didn't put on my list for this video, but when I was like getting my clothing rack cleaned off, oops, the string thing. Um, like, you know, so I could, I was emptying it so I could put the stuff on it for this video. I, this was on it and I remembered, um, I was just like, oh, I was so excited about this dress. So I should probably talk about it because I don't think I really talk about, I don't think I did anything for Halloween on this channel. And so I didn't get to talk about my Halloween costume last year. But so this is just a little Forever 21 like bodycon type dress. It's like nude. It has this like light blue lace overlay. The back's really low and stuff like that. It's kind of falling apart. Um... But I got this because last year for Halloween, my Halloween costume, well, like one of the three that I posted during the month, my actual Halloween costume, was Milo from the Skeleton Twins, which is my favorite movie. I don't know if I've talked about it on the channel before. I think, wait, I did because my Christmas haul video, I got the DVD. But there's this scene in the movie where him and his sister, who have always been like really close, um, they went to Halloween together and then Milo did like this drag look. Well, it's like really like... Not like an intense drag like, but he had like on makeup and a wig and stuff. It's something he's used to do like when he was younger and stuff. Um, and so his sister like helped him do that again. And I, he's my favorite character in the movie. So it's like, I want to recreate that for Halloween. So I, took me forever to find a dress, but I found this on Depop. It's not quite the same, but it gets the point across because his dress is like a brocade like type situation. So it's like blue silky with like you know gold in it and this is nude with blue lace but like it gets the point across it's like a similar style you know it's like a similar there's blue and another color and stuff like that I literally had to like tie these stinking things to keep the back shut because like it's even though it fit me the back was like too loose in a way like it was a whole thing um but it worked and I have a picture here of it I'm really proud of that costume and yeah I'm just this was such, even though it's like not my style I have such good memories attached to it that like I could not put this in the video so that's really nice and it, it is falling apart but I it was a great Halloween costume and if I ever like fully get into doing cosplay like it'll be good for that so um cool um so the next dress I got is I found this at that same Goodwill that's like 15 or 20 minutes away and it's the one I consider my local one but like there's a lot that I go to um, but I remember I got this cheetah print dress. There's not really anything like super special about it. It's just I was wanting a nice little just like easy to wear cheetah print dress and I found one for like really cheap, like eight bucks. So, um, it's from Old Navy. So it's not super old, but it's just like has this like shearing on the back, whatever you call it, you know, where it's like stretchy, the sleeves are, the straps are adjustable and it's just like cute. If you really wanted to, you could probably wear like acrylic under it for like extra volume but I just wear it like this and I made a cute little outfit with it. I have this black belt that I've had forever that I use kind of like for everything. Um, I put that on it. I had on my Converse boots because I've been trying to wear those more. So this is really fun during the summer. Um, so I can't wait to wear it more once it um, gets like warmer and stuff. But yeah, it's just really nice basic dress. There's, I think her name's Cassie Stevens. She's like the art teacher. That dress is really cool and like unique and she has a lot of cool patterns, but she talks about how she thinks like animal print or especially leopard print is like a solid color, not a solid color, sorry, a neutral color. I'm like, I kind of agree because underrated. I know animal prints, people are like, oh, they're back. Oh, they're not. It's like for me, I like, I like this print. So like, it's always going to be in for me. So, but yeah, like, look at that. It's cute. I really miss wearing this. I finally have like tights um, to wear under dresses for the winter, so even the winter's kind of gonna be over soon, it's like, okay, now I can wear it. Um, but yeah, it's cool. Oh, this next dress, I'm really excited to talk about, oops. But this was one that I technically bought for the shop, but I tried it on. Mistake, kind of, but also it's like a good staple piece of my wardrobe, even though I haven't been able to wear it for a while. I know, like, I will hopefully be able to soon. Um, but... 
So this is from the brand Altered State, and it's like this. A lot of their stuff I don't like, but some stuff like this is probably a little bit older. It's like actually cute, so it's like, oh, sweet. I keep finding it at thrift stores, and I usually end up liking it, but um, yeah, so it's this brown dress. It's kind of like a tunic in a way. It's like not super, like it has a little bit of like, you know, a shape to it, but not too much where it's like body or too tight or anything. It has this cool like, you know, lace thing and it has these giant sleeves and I tried this on and I was like in love with it immediately. It's like this nice brown color. Um, and here's like some pictures, one of, here's like pictures from like, I took a little video when I first tried it on because I realized how much I liked it on me. And then I actually like styled it eventually and it, it's really cute. I did style this in my Converse boots. I think it was really cute because it's kind of fairy but kind of modern, kind of emo, you know. So I really like it. But um, I have a couple other pieces from this brand that I like. I only like very specific things from them. And also, I feel like like they're more of a brand I'd rather thrift than give my money. So um, it's nice that I've been finding cute things like this on like at Goodwill and stuff. And I'll just have to post pictures because it's kind of hard to tell like this. But like pictures do it better justice than like just holding it up like this. So cool. But, um, this I got at the same place I got the denim dress, um, and the dresses are like five bucks there, um, last I was there, I don't know if they've changed, um, but this is from the brand Laura Ashley Country, it's, I think it's vintage, like the tag feels vintage, you know, it's like a nice tag, but it's just this like, you know, kind of like 90s feeling, like floral maxi dress, and it's just like really soft and comfortable, and I've been wanting a dress like this since like... I don't even know. Basically when I first got Pinterest and started figuring out what kind of clothes I liked, even though a lot of the stuff from back then I wouldn't wear now, but this is still just, you know, a nice classic floral dress. You can like, you know, use it for a lot of different styles, but I just love it. I call it, um, but yeah, I love it. And it's literally the dress I've been looking for for years and I finally have it and I'm so excited. And it's another thing I've been able to wear in a while, but I know eventually it'll like, I'll fluctuate back to it. Fluctuate is not the right word. I'll just, you know, um, kind of switch like, you know, switch my wardrobe around and come back to it, so it's like, it's just such a nice piece to have, and I got it for like five bucks, and it's, you know, like, if I bought it, like, on other places, it would be a little more expensive, so, like, I'm glad I found it, and I'm really, I really like it, it looks really cute, like, my, like, I have just regular dog, or, like, Oxfords, not the boots, and stuff like that, or, like, those chunky black Union Bay shoes I love talking about, like, it looks so cute with those, um, so I'm really excited that I have it, I love it. So then, then I think that's, oh, I have like little stuff that's not closed, yes. So, um, the next little like section of this is stuff I have that's like not closed, which isn't like a ton of stuff, but, um, I have a few things I want to talk about, but I have this little, um, Hello Kitty figurine. She's from like the, oh, is she broken? I think that might be the deal. Oh, but it's this little, just Hello Kitty McDonald's toy where she's a rock star from like a Halloween collab they did, like one year around Halloween they had Hello Kitty toys but um I got her one of our good ones used to have like a bin where you could get toys for like 59 cents each and you could just dig through it and have McDonald's toys and like figurines and I found her in there and I have this thing where anytime I find a Hello Kitty like in that context I'll get it so I have her I actually recently found another one at a different Goodwill this early this year um but she is in better shape than this one because apparently how this one's supposed to work is you press her tail and her head like bangs she had bangs or whatever well like her head goes side to side but I didn't know that, but I guess this one is broken because her tail doesn't do that. So no wonder I didn't know that because I got the new one. I was like, oh, I didn't know you pressed her tail to do this. I thought you just shook her, but, um, because it's like kind of a bobblehead too. Um, but yeah, so Hello Kitty. But yeah, I really love picking up these little Hello Kitties because it's cute. And like some real stuff can be so expensive. So it's like, I'll just get it when I find it like for cheap and if it's stuff I like. So that's how I got like two different skeleton Hello Kitties. And then another one of these. And then I have a Karopi from, like, when we were younger and we got Hello Kitty toys and Happy Meals. And then in the next tiny thing I got from probably that same trip is just a tiny TNT block for Minecraft. And I just, a lot of times what I do, they don't have the bin any the bins anymore of, like, small stuff because I probably just haven't gotten a lot of it in a while. But I would always just try to get, like, several different things that I liked because I love digging for treasure. But I found this tiny... Minecraft TNT block and it's so fun because I finally have Minecraft for PC now and so like I keep it on my desk with my little creeper plushie and it's like ooh yay it's just oh it's so cute it's a cute little decoration I love it so that's fun 
And then, this is another thing I found that I kind of technically been trying to get, like, look for, but this mini Spider-Man backpack, because I always wanted a Spider-Man backpack when I was younger and I wasn't able to get one. So, like, then I found this, and it's, like, perfect, because it's a mini backpack, so I can use the purse. And it's just, like, nice and simple, and it's not too fancy, but it's not too, like, small. Because some, like, little mini backpacks where they're made for kids, they're, like really small you can't fit anything in them so but I'm glad I have this I've got a couple new purses because like I got this like maybe the middle neck last year and then Christmas happened I got this nice purse for Christmas like an it a bag and then just recently on the thrift I found a nice little like shoulder bag that I've been kind of trying to find something like so it's like I haven't used it in the last couple months but I still love it I can't wait to use it again so the next little thing I got is these little plush bunnies um I don't know how old they are they seem to be vintage but I can't find anything on them like um, like I'll, I think I tried looking at the brand when I got them, but this was because technically these are also technically from a vintage booth, but I wanted to keep them, so, and they're really cheap, so I just like, sometimes that happens. Um, but they're just like kind of kitschy, and they're just like little Easter bunnies, and they have like, like I think they're supposed to be like in love, they're hugging each other, and they have like, you know, just little, <laughs> they're just cute, look at that, reminds me of Melanie Martinez type stuff, but also just kitsch in general, because that's kind of like one of the things she at least used to. I think she still kind of does with some of her like art and like characters is like you know like old toys and things like that so it reminds me of like kitsch and like um things like that. Val looks like like old Valentine's Day you know like old cartoons. I just I love them. They sit on my desk. They're so cute. But yeah I'm glad I kept these because you know they're just a cute little thing I look at. It, I'm like wow that's adorable. It just like brings me joy you know. Um but yeah so this was fun. I got these at probably my favorite Goodwill to go to because it's bigger so they have a lot more stuff. Some of it's more expensive than other places but then other stuff is cheaper so it kind of balances out but the stuffed animals are in a giant bin for like 99 cents each and I just dig in there. I almost lost all my rings to that bin but I found so much good stuff there. I love digging in the stuffed animal bin. Last time I went it was almost empty and I was so sad. But yeah, little buddies in love. It's so cute. This next thing is kind of like transitioning into the stuff that I am thinking about getting rid of but haven't decided yet but there's some really cool things that I have. And um, the first one I don't have because I think it's technically listed but I've been meaning to unlist it, like delete the listings because I kind of want to still, you know, hold on to it just in case. I'll just have to show you, I'll have to post pictures but it has just like really pretty like lace on the edges. It's just so pretty. And I remember when I first started looking at their clothes online and like seeing a lot of like the stuff people were like selling like the really pretty dresses and like the lace ones and it was just so pretty and I found it for like five bucks and it was like oh my gosh I need to get that and like I was worried it wouldn't fix it was technically a small but it um I wanted to go ahead and buy it because it was worth the risk because in there because like yeah worst case scenario I just have to resell it um and I'll make my money back so it's like okay so yeah anyway here's a picture of it somewhere around here and then here's a picture of an outfit I made with it which I love but I have not been able to actually wear that outfit ever since I put it together I just took pictures and took it off because it was not as comfortable as I wanted it to be but it made some cute pictures so here's that dress and I'm probably keeping it so like if there are listings I'm gonna take them down um so that so now that we're onto that category um the first thing is something I it's this like it's, what brand is it? It's from Pendleton. It's probably like a school uniform skirt, but it's just like a nice long wool skirt. Is it wool? Oh, it is. Yeah, it's wool. Um, and it's just so nice and like, you know, it's vintage. It's really nice quality. It has like, you know, the zipper and the button. And then it, um, it's long and it's pleated and it's really heavy. And I've been looking for like just a nice long plaid skirt for a while. Really, I want a red one. That's just why I'm like getting rid of this. Um, it's, um, I'm trying to sell it. Because, like, also it doesn't fit, because it's, like, technically fits down here, but then it'd be too long. So, like, on my lower waist or whatever, you know, like, my hips. Um, and, like, I want to wear it up here on my, like, what's it called? Just my waist, like, my actual waist. Um, but, like, either way, like, also the color just isn't in my thing, because it's a nice brown color, but I don't wear browns a lot. And so, where, like, the outfits I would wear this is, which are more, like, punk inspired, and really, you don't have to wear a specific color of plaid for that. It's just, I'm more into, like, red plaid, so it's, like... This isn't really my color and it doesn't really fit either, so I'm just going to get rid of it. Because I thought about trying to alter it, but I just don't have the time and the motivation. So I'm getting rid of it, but it's such a nice skirt. Like, oh my gosh, I hate to get rid of it. But I'm going to have to. The next thing is actually something also from one of my vlogs. It's this little t-shirt from Talbots. Talbots? I don't know how to pronounce it. Sorry. Um, it's just like a little black t-shirt. I think it's simple supposed to be fitted but since it's like a size up from what I normally wear it just fits kind of like 
like still has like a shape to it that's loose um but it's just black it has this really pretty dragonfly print and i love this thing i wore it a lot especially with a specific pair of capris that i love that i grew out of um but i really i really do like this i just haven't worn it in so long i'm thinking of getting rid of it but also it's such a nice like little basic t-shirt with a cute little design like i think it's worth keeping so it's like kind of in between like you're kind of on thin ice but also like i don't have like you know what i mean like i'm not running out of room for clothes it's just like it's been sitting there i feel bad but it's so cute i love it i love it especially when like kind of in the middle of last year i was really into like kind of like phoebe buffet inspired fashion so it was like it kind of went with that if i was still being more casual i could wear that and some capris and like my oxfords and it was like kind of the vibe but not too overwhelming because layers just overwhelm me but i think for this category is another altered state piece it's this blouse i got at uh, another goodwill <laughs> usually it's goodwill but um it's just like sheer so like i'd wear like a camel sole underneath it and it has just like this pretty like it's like mesh type material and then it has um like embroidery and it like you know drops right here so it's not super fitted it's really flowy it has these really pretty sleeves and i like it but again i just haven't worn it in so long because i need like like i wear sports bras this does not go with a sports bra like there's no way to wear a sports bra with this um so it's like just sitting in there and it's also like kind of my style but also not really so I'm torn if I should keep it or not because it would be like something I could sell but it's also like it's pretty you know so I'm just kind of in between about it but it's such a pretty top like I love finding these kind of altered state pieces when I go thrifting because they're so beautiful but yeah it's like mm, it's so pretty so the last thing that I'm like kind of on thin ice about is another non-clothing thing but it's this Green Day book I found for like five bucks um, and it's so cool, it's huge, and it's like, it's called Treasures of Green Day, like has a description on the back, and then it's like, here's a picture, you know, it's just artwork and stuff, and it has like, like, it's just, it's like really cool, there's like posters that you can take out of it, and like, replicas of like, tickets and things, I'm trying to find one, but it's just giving me like, pages of it, but yeah, like, there's these replica like, tickets and stuff made to look like old tickets and posters of theirs like that's so cool look at that it's loading. i can't tell but, like it's so cool it's like i love green day but also i don't really have a dedicated shelf for them and i don't have room for it and but also it's like one day you might but it's like it's such a hassle to have this thing just around my room and it's like you know it's looking at me you know they're looking at me it's just kind of funny so i'm like torn between this would be a good booth inventory because I like putting music related stuff in there but also it's like it's such a cool book and I found it for five bucks and eventually I'll have room to display more of my music memorabilia so it's like I should keep it so kind of on thin ice but also like look how cool this is it is huge and it was five bucks um but yeah I like it it's cool but yeah mixed feelings about keeping it or selling it but yeah but yeah I just like it so yeah cool I don't know how hard to find it is I just thought it was cool but yeah, so there's that. So then the next section, we're going to part two now. So it's like part one and then part one and a half. Um, so the next section is stuff that I, I got for the shop, whether it's my online stores or my vintage booth. And um, most of this has already sold, but some of it is stuff that's like still for sale. But most of it's stuff that's sold because like, you know, usually the cooler stuff sells faster, I guess. Um, so I'm just going to have to read off of a list and then if I can sometimes I kind of vaguely only remember things like a little bit so if I like forget about it then I might not have much to say which this is gonna be a really long video so I might have to speed run through these things um but yeah cool so it's time for the speed round which is all the cool stuff I bought and sold last year so there's this knitted Halloween vest like the cool vintage ones that like teachers would wear and like they had embroidery and beads and it was really heavy I got this um from the same trip where I got the blue dress and the denim dress and it finally sold like I think after October I sold like a bundle of Halloween clothes that didn't sell in my booth that month because I just come and get rid of that stuff so I did that this Ohio State University cardigan that I don't really care too much about sports mem memorabilia and I don't really care about sports but um the button spelled go bucks and I thought that was hilarious because it's like those would have been the those were so hard to button and unbutton like whenever I was like you know like I washed it and then I put it on the hanger to like take pictures to sell it with I saw that on Mercari but it was so hard to button those things so it's so funny it's like the the button spelled go bucks like it's so extra but also that just made it so inconvenient 
but I sold that ended up selling. I got this skirt, it ended up being a Zara skirt, but like the brand in it wasn't like Zara, but like it sold through Zara. And but it's like just this little mini skirt, it had like a lot of really pretty and floral embroidery. And I found that. I ended up selling that in the booth. And then Arag this Aragado vest from Chaps. I sold that on Depop. That one was a frustrating sale because Depop has this glitch where sometimes it'll set the shipping to the free shipping setting because like something happens where they forget to save your address or something. And it's like I don't do free shipping so I still made money on that sale but not as much as I wanted because I paid for shipping. So I mean technically the buyer still paid for shipping but like they took it out of the money I got instead of the buyer paying extra. Does that make sense? But yeah that was frustrating so now I have to be extra careful to make sure it says like buyer pays shipping. But I saw my and it was a really cute Argyle vest. Um, I got this bag from Justice. It was like a little monster. It's like neon and fuzzy you know like Justice in its prime. And then um I found it and it's really cute. It had a few flaws, but I was able to sell it through Mercari. Um, this, oh, a Bebe, Bebe dress, you know, like the brand from the early 2000s. I found this cute little, like, I don't really know how to call it, a cocktail dress, like, I don't know, a little, just a little dress, halter dress, yeah, halter dress. And that one sold, that one also sold, but yeah, that was a good sale that I made. That, that's a sale I was really happy to make because it was a really nice dress and I was able, was able to find it. Um, this pretty angel top that I tempted, I am tempted to purchase this back from the person I sold it to because it was on Poshmark, which is like one of my first Poshmark sales too. And it's just like from a brand called Pretty Angel, just kind of similar to Altered State stuff. And it's just like flowy and it has embroidery on it and it just like has cute little like the sleeves and the sleeves like have embroidery here and then some ruffles. Like it's so pretty. Like I almost keep kept it but I needed like, you know, I couldn't keep stuff yet then. And then, um, and then she like reposhed it, you know, where you like reposh it and they use your pictures and stuff, but like it credits you and stuff. And she was like, I like it, but it's time to, you know, cycle through stuff in my wardrobe and get new stuff. And I was like, I want to buy it from her so bad, but she's selling it for more than I sold it for. And it's like, which is fine, you know, I just didn't know how much it was worth because it is like a nice brand to keep an eye out for. Um, but I like, it would be worth it to buy it now because it's been so long and I still want it. It's just, I, again, it's like, oh man, I have to like, yeah, it's like. It's still like, oh my gosh, you're buying it off some you sold you sold it too, but yeah. I just I'm still obsessed with this top. And a this A and A or A new approach sweater, it was like black and like mesh in a way. It reminded me of a lot of like trip NYC and lip service sweaters I see people have in their in search of like all the time on Depop. And I was so tempted to keep this because I thought it was so cool because it's kinda see-through in a way because of the weird netted mesh type design, the way it's like knitted or crocheted, I'm not sure which it is. Um, and you can wear like a canvas underneath it, but I didn't keep it, um, because it was kind of itchy. But then recently, I did find the same sweater in a bigger size and like more worn in, so it wasn't as itchy at another thrift store like early this year, so I have it again. But yeah, this was a hard one to sell, but I have it again, so it's fine. But, um, cool. Found this army green jacket from Universal Threads, which is like kind of cool, but I really bought it. And then I was trying to get into more painting jackets again, because I, I once saw when I get in the mood to do them, like they make good money. So I ended up painting, so like I didn't get a lot of attention, but then I painted this Green Day design on the back. And um, it was really from a vintage booth, but one of my friends ended up buying it from me, which was really nice of her. So I'm glad I got to go to someone that like I know and I trust, because I need to work on a jacket. They're like my babies, you know? But I was really proud of that jacket. I've been meaning to make one for myself, because I have a jacket in the same color that I can paint. Um, the next thing was this vintage yellow dress I got at a Goodwill for like $7.99. It was a dress that came with like a waist tie, you know, like a belt. It's just like a, you know, like a you know, like a strip of fabric that was like sewed and stuff. But I'm pretty sure this was handmade. There were no tags on it. It was like just one layer. So I think this was handmade, but I got for $7.99 and I sold it for like, I forgot how much I sold it for, but like it was like, you know, it was a good sale. It was a good find. Um, but it was like, Vin, it, I have a picture of me and it. it was one of my favorite things I ever found. But it was um, yellow, like gingham, like plaid, whatever. And it had like little like floral buttons and it was just so cute and it was like I looked at it and you could tell it was like kind of special like someone had made it and it was like oh that's so cool and I kind of again it's not my style but I was so I almost was like really attached to it because it was such a cool thing and that's what I like about like what I kind of do right now with that kind of stuff because like um like you know you find cool stuff and it's like even if it's not your style you know you can make sure to get to a home it will go to a nice home where someone will love it because it, it's their style and like you know that way it'll be tempted to keep things that aren't my style so that was a really cool find and the person who like got it was really excited about it like I was so happy I was able to make that happen for them Ooh, that same trip I found this Nike golf set it was like a 
short lime green polo and like a lime green skirt to go with it. I don't remember how much it cost, but it was a really good deal for that and that was a really cool sale. Um, it was such a cool little set because even though it was meant for like golf and stuff, like it would work for a lot of different like styles and I know some people who are just really into green loved it. I think the person who bought it for me, she also bought this other like green thing I was selling so like you could tell it was probably like her favorite color and it was like that was such a cool find. Um, I got like so many like Y2K early 2000s like looking shirts whether because they were from that time or they just look like they could be from a lot of like the little different aspects of that kind of style are coming back but there's this brown um shirt that's in the booth right now it's Susan Lawrence or something like that it was a really cool find that I found like later last year it hasn't sold yet but I do have it in the booth I kind of like cycle stuff in between booth and online depending on like what it is but that's a really pretty one this green long sleeve shirt that I found at a Goodwill. It's this cool one with like a, I don't know what to call it, style, but I'll show it here. It's like a long sleeve thermal looking thing. This black top with like the little milkmaid, like hen, not henley, but like the little milkmaid, like fake camisole layer on the top. It wasn't in my size, so I ended up selling it, but it was really cute. Um, I just thought it was a cute thing. And then this butterfly shirt that was like green and it had like tiny little buttons and it was just, it was so pretty that one sold on Depop, I think. Um, and then I found this orange sweater for, I ended up using it in a booth, but it reminds me so much of Brat Dolls. Like, it reminded me of that, it's still, like, different than the sweater this Brat Doll wore, but it reminded me of this, like, funky, fresh, like, I don't know which character it was, but she had, like, a beret and, like, a little, like, cropped, um, turtleneck. I'll probably find a picture of her to put in here as well as the sweater, but I don't have any more that one sold. It actually took a while to sell in the booth, but the only picture I have is a screenshot from a clip I took for, like, a, a TikTok video. So, you'll see the little loading circle, but that's it. Um, that's the sweater. And then, last for that tiny little section, there's this little, it's actually more of like a newer No Boundaries tank top, but like it has like, it gave me early 2000s vibes. It was just like velvet and like this teal blue and had really cool lace and like cool texture. So, that sold in the booth pretty early on, um, but it was really cute. And then I found this Victoria's Secret robe, like a vintage Victoria's Secret robe, and it's like chinois or e like inspired designs it's like fan there's really pretty fans on it and like it's red and it's cold colors and green it's so pretty it's missing the belt but other than that it's like really pretty i found it in the pajamas at my favorite goodwill the at the goodwill that like i like to go to the most all the pajamas are dollar 99 so i find like really nice like slips and things there but yeah i found that really nice roof for dollar 99 it's in the booth right now it looks really cool and they're like hung up on the wall because it's so long i have to hang it up really high so that's a cool find um I got these cute little shelves I'm using for displays right now and they're like pink and it's like a purple one and then a little pink one or it could be reversed but they have little rhinestones very much like early 2000s Hannah Montana like girls bedroom you know like teenage girl bedroom and I thought they were really cool technically I was trying to sell them for a while um but like they just how much I paid for them versus like how much I'd get after fees like it just wouldn't have worked out so I ended up just using them for displays in my vintage booth and they look great and I love it good investment so I got like $8 for the set, I think. Um, I got this Betsy Johnson dress from, actually threw it up because it was on, it was like discounted really cheap. It was like $9 after like I ended up getting it. And I, and like since I got a few other things that were really cheap and I thought I could sell, like I don't really, like buying stuff on there for inventory is not a really good idea because it's like the prices I sell things for, you know, because they do what I do, they resell stuff. But um, but yeah, in this case, I was able to do that. So it was this really pretty Betsy Johnson dress. It's like hot pink, black tulle, like polka dots. They're like hot pink felt polka dots. It was so cute. And I, at first it was in the booth. Eventually I ended up listing online and it sold on Depop. So I paid $9 for it. It sold for like $30, I think. It was really pretty. Um, and then I got this really pretty, when I was getting inventory specifically for my vintage booth, I got this really pretty, like, vintage fondue pot. I think it's German. The brand's like Asta or something like that. I don't know how to pronounce that. I'm so far. I do not know how to pronounce that. But it's so pretty. It's missing, like, like it's the pot in the lid, but it doesn't have anything else to let you know. It's like a fondue pot, so I don't really know what it's missing. But it's just really pretty. It's, like, nice and heavy and substantial, and it has, like, florals on it, and these, like, it's very 70s. It's probably from the 70s, but... Uh, it's still in the booth because I did more of like an eBay price because I'm still learning how to price stuff but I'm tempted to just list it on eBay because it's not fully glass. I don't think it'd be too risky to ship. Um, but yeah, it's just such a pretty piece to have in my booth. I love it because the glass where I display around it has similar colors. It just looks great. Um, I hope this list thing is, this is, the list is helping me so I hope you guys are cool with that. Oh, I had this Harley Davidson button up that I found and it, sorry, my throat's scratchy. 
but um it's just like a black button up shirt and on the back it has this really pretty harley davidson design and there's like rhinestone it was so pretty that one sold in the booth um and then oh i got this at a flea market my grandfather took me to the flea market to help me get inventory because he's really like a lot of my family's been really supportive with this vintage booth thing i've been doing so i'm grateful but he has like that's what we do it's like we go to the flea market and stuff but um I found this Bratz phone. They actually have two of them, but they're shaped like lift. I should have gotten both because they're five bucks each, and like they're worth like thirty to forty dollars if they work. And I ended up selling this one for like thirty two, so I paid five bucks and I got it for thirty two. Actually, I think I'm pretty sure because I was gonna pay the five bucks, and then I took it to the person that was working the the vintage booth, like you know the little booth, the stall at the flea market, because this one had like indoor stalls, and I wasn't even gonna like negotiate the price I was fine with paying five bucks for it and they're like I'll give it to you for four I'm like okay that's fine like I'm not gonna say no to that but like it's I just feel bad because I wasn't gonna do that so like I wasn't gonna negotiate or anything I was fine with that fine with the price so but it's just funny um that was such a good find like I get really grateful when I find good finds like that because it's like it's the little itch in my brain that's like Yes, this is why I do. I love looking for cool stuff, whether it's stuff I find for me or stuff I find like to sell that ends up being really good, like investments or it's just things also that like I mean I can tell the other person is excited to get. It's like this is why I like doing what I do, <laughs> even though it's kind of like not like um yeah it's not like a like a job job right now. It's just kind of like a hobby that I'm making money from. But yeah, I'm just grateful I can do this right now. But yeah, cool. I really hope I didn't forget anything. Um, but yeah, I've already found some such, like, great stuff early this year, and I've had some good, like, finds that, like, I cannot wait to do this video next year. So hopefully, since I am, excuse me, hopefully since I'm planning to do this next year, I can keep up with it and already have a folder of pictures saved of stuff I want to, like, feature in the video, so that way I'm more prepared, because, like... Even though I had, like, some of the pictures gathered up, I did not, like, actually start working on this video until today because I finally had motivation. So I've been, like, making sure I have all the pictures. I've been, like, figuring out the lighting. I had to, like, like get dressed and do my makeup because I don't have to do that for a video. But, like, it just, I also just needed a reason to do that because, like, it makes me feel better. You know what I mean? Like, like, oh my gosh, my whole room's a mess because I just decided last minute to do this today. But hopefully I can get this out before the end of the month. Right now it's the, the 9th, so, like, it's, I will probably will be able to, but I probably will be able to. But yeah, um, but yeah, hopefully next year I'm more prepared, because if I can get up with this once a month thing, then I'll, I can, like, plan to, like, get it kind of in the early to middle of the month, so that way I can take the rest of the month to work on the next month, and it'll just kind of lead into each other, but yeah. Anyways, thank you for watching. Um, if you thrift, or if you like thrifting, like, what's some of your favorite things you found, whether or not you were able to buy them, or if you left them there, or, if, like, if it's something you sold, or just something you have. Or even if you got it, like, hand-me-downs from somebody. I got so much, I get so much nice things from hand-me-downs, so I'm grateful that, like, a lot of people in my family were just, like, close. You know what I mean? Like, I'm grateful that we have family and, like, family friends that were just like, hey, I don't, I don't want this stuff. Do you want it? Like, it's so nice. Um, but, yeah. Thank you for watching, and I hope your year has been good so far. And I'll see you next month, or if I have a random filler video idea, I'll see you then. So...